If you ever seen the GTA San Andreas intro, then you would notice this man. He is the man from the mission Caesar Vatabundo. His name is Jose and he's a member of the Barrio Las Aztecas. Little is known about the gang's origin, as well as their beef with other Los Santos gangs, the Vagos. However, we can speculate that their roots lie in El Corona, a neighborhood in Los Santos, which were formed sometime in the 1980s. Although not a central character, he is a loyal member of the Barrio Las Aztecas, which we will see him represent his gang in the Mission Caesar Verapando, where he presses CJ about being a gang member, telling him that he's no good in the hood. But luckily for CJ, Caesar Verapando saves his life by taking his gang affiliation and throwing it out the window, telling Jose that CJ is from nowhere. This would be the last time that we see Jose, sparking the theory that he died sometime after the Green Saber mission due to the fact that he does not appear in Los Desperados. And Caesar also mentions that many of his friends are dead or are in hiding when the Vagos take over his neighborhood in El Corona. But what is the possible link between Jose and the mysterious NPC from the game's introduction? Well, let's examine the most compelling evidence, which is the unique skin model used for both characters. As you can see, Jose and the NPC share the exact same character model. It's not a coincidence that Rockstar reused this model, especially considering the attention to detail they put into the game. And uh, you better not bring up CJ's mom. Like, take a look at the detail, the facial structure, hairstyle, and clothing. They are undeniably identical, further supporting the theory that these two characters are one and the same. Now let's dive into the beta content surrounding T-Bone Mendez, a member of the San Fierro Rifa. According to the beta content, there was a plotline where T-Bone Mendez kills two members of the Varia Los Aztecas while locked up. Although the story didn't make it into the final version of the game, it hints at a deeper connection between T-Bone Mendez and the Varia Las Aztecas. This beta storyline suggests that T-Bone Mendez had a grudge against the Varia Las Aztecas. Which brings me to the question, why was Jose in San Fierro, if the NPC is him? Well this is honestly an easy answer. We need to consider Rockstar's intentions with the introduction. This film was released to tie everything together various story elements and characters, making it easier for the player to follow the narrative. By including Jose's NPC, Rockstar clearly intended to establish a connection between the San Fierro Rifa and the Aztecas. And let me remind you that the Aztecas were against drugs, while the San Fierro Rifa were pro-drug, actively helping the spread of crack cocaine throughout Los Santos and the state of San Andreas. I would also like to point out, in the introduction you can hear Jose getting beat up, and accused of being a snitch, which ain't a good accusation just to throw out there. So what exactly did he snitch on? Well the truth is, I don't know, but if I had to take a guess I would say it was drug related. And possibly he was acting as a mole for the Aztecas, pretending to be a San Fierro Rifa until he got caught, which ended very badly for him because T-Bone wasn't letting up. Just because T-Bone Mendez says he's dead, doesn't mean he's dead. He could easily just get roughed up and get sent back to Los Santos, which of course he would recover and become an active gang member once more, until he got caught slipping by the Vagos. But what do you think? Do you believe that Jose from the main story is the NPC from the introduction? Let us know through the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more GTA content. This is LS Central. Check in. Out.